you can do extreme things, but it does not matter if you don't value it enough. And that's why I think more people aren't successful. They don't want it more than all the other things they're getting. In the United States, this is, I think, painfully clear because it's too easy to survive here. It's too easy to get comfortable here. It's easy to placate yourself into this kind of state of malaise. Is there like some action steps that someone can do if like, let's say they, they know they're procrastinating, they tracked it, they're like, damn, I just can't get off of TikTok. Like, how the hell do I start, you know, being more productive? Like, what are like some action steps? For this is what I've learned. If they don't really want to change, yeah, it does not matter. But I think a lot of people do want to change, but they can't. In my experience, when somebody wants it bad enough, they change. And James Clear wrote a book, Atomic Habits, which I highly recommend as a read there, about changing habits mm -hmm. and doing things to help you uh, shift your behavior, for mm -hmm. sure. But my experience has been when the human decides they really want to change, they will change. All they need is an effective catalyst, right? So things you can do. If you procrastinate a lot, literally it could be, uh, that could be a trauma response. You may want to go to therapy. Now that sounds crazy talking about procrastination, no, yeah. but I think therapy is fantastic. And in this day and age, I think most people would be, do better having a, a therapist on call, yeah. right? Just somewhere where you can process and figure out where, the, where this shit's coming from. Because a lot of it started before the age of seven, right? We, all this unconscious programming comes in. Before the age of seven, you're generally, your brainwave state is naturally in theta, which is highly suggestive. You're just a big sponge. As you progress through that age, you go into more into beta and more into doing, but all of that programming is now there and it's largely unconscious. So you don't even realize the things you believe and why you believe them. You're just living them out now. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times going back and rewriting that programming is really important. So a therapist could be useful, a coach could be useful, an accountability uh, partner could be useful. Apps on your phones can help you control time on, like literally, you can, there's apps that will allow you to only have X amount of time on X amount of apps mm -hmm. or lock you out at different times. You could yeah. just throw away your phone, maybe unrealistic in this day and age, but you can do extreme things, but mm -hmm. it does not matter if you don't value it enough. And that's why I think more people aren't successful. They don't want it more than all the other things they're getting. Mm -hmm. In the United States, this is, I think, painfully clear because it's too easy to survive here, Yeah. right? It's too easy to get comfortable here. And so you, it's easy to, to placate yourself into yeah. this kind of state of malaise yeah, and be a consumer. Plus the entire system, the entire culture is all about being a consumer, yeah. right? Everything coming at you is consume, 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 consume. Mm -hmm. And in many ways we brainwashed ourselves into being consumers. So there's way more consumers than there are producers.